Yo, dig it. I'm on 151st in Amsterdam, right? Just came from getting something to eat. And um, I got a call from somebody. And the, the tone of the conversation went like this. She ended up saying um, that she was like, when she hear people um, talk about the dip set and they get all excited and enthusiastic, she said she, she didn't get it. She was, like, she was like, I wonder where I was at in life, you know, what I was doing during the dip set era. Like, how did I miss that shit? Like, because when I hear people talk about them, it's like a big deal. And, she, and I had to tell her, I had to tell her, um, I had to break it down to her and shit. I was explaining to her because I was just with Sin City the other night. And uh, we was on first half and he was kicking some history to me. But anyway, I had to tell her like, um, this is the truth too. I was like, dip, the dip set is like um, as big as the Wu-Tang as far as identity you know in relevance in terms of new york city like the dip set is like that like one of the all-time great groups out of new york like public enemy and shit like that you know what i'm saying this is the now i'm explaining this to her and and i had to break down the, you know the, the hierarchy and shit and i was like man uh I said, Dipset is the reason, in my opinion, I'm like, Dipset is the reason that uh, that blood thing went, like, viral, like, became, like, viral. Like, because I, I remember when that, them, 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 them red NBA jackets came out with all the teams on them, all the NBA teams on them. Joel's or, or Jim and them, one of them was on a cover of the source with them shits on. And everybody went and got if you was getting if you was getting money back then, everybody went and got these fucking uh jackets with them fucking NBA teams on them. Straight up. And the live the, the hottest one was the, the red one and shit. So niggas was going and getting the motherfucking everybody was everybody had that fucking red leather with the teams all over it and niggas was wearing the red ones and niggas was wearing them fucking bandanas even if they wasn't even a gang member it, it straight up it was like an outfit you know what i'm saying it was like an outfit this is like a global outfit niggas was running around with the red bandana on their head like Joel's and jim with the hat on top that was an outfit niggas all over the world I was seeing him, you know what I'm saying? I was in the streets, I, everybody was doing that shit. And you know, multiple bandanas to, to match these, these leathers and shit. So, um, boom, I was telling her about the whole fashion thing. The dip set made the, uh, projected that, that fly image of them wheat Tims, a nice fucking fitted hat and a butter leather. Uh, a Pelly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, niggas in Detroit was wearing Al with Al with some, you know what I mean. This is the colorful but this is the butter leather era. The butter leather wheat Tim's fitted hat. The Dipset embodied that shit. They was the niggas in the fucking magazines rocking them wheat construction Tim's, and you know, switching the leathers up and shit. You know what I'm saying? All the fucking fly shit, and that shit spread. Push the fashion shit in hip hop to the next generation and shit. You know what I mean? This was the next generation of what people was wearing in the streets now. You feel me? And the, the dip set was, we, we watching Smack DVD. The world is watching Smack now. The dip set is on there with fucking game, with the certified gangster video, and all of the fly shit, the jewels. They had the jewelry, the trucks, they, the, the shit, the shit, the highlight of the motherfucking DVDs. Now, I'm telling her who, where I come in, like Gully TV, I'm like, at this time, 
I was a DVD nigga. I was in the streets. And I was explaining to her, you know what I mean? Because I was selling DVDs. I had my own DVD. I was telling her that back in this era, between like 2004 to probably like 2009, 2009 or some shit like that, you could sell a motherfucker. All you needed to get is one, one dip set member on your DVD. So you could legitimately, legitimately put that Dipset Eagle on your on your product. If you could put that Dipset logo on on a D, ask anybody. If you could put that Dipset logo on your DVD, that motherfucker was sold straight up. And it could have been the doorman. It could have been at security. It could have been British the Titan. Any anybody, Tito Poppins. I did it. I did it. And um, this is how big that. This is how big the, the dip set was during this fucking period. And I'm, and I'm explaining this shit to her. And she was like, well, between like 2004 to like 2009, I was like, you know, I was like married. And I'm like, that's why you missed it. Because you wasn't really, you know, out mixing like that. But, um, yeah, that's the truth of the matter in terms of um, the dip set then and, then and now. Uh, I speak of this because, of course, I'm the dribble, and I've been moving through these blocks uptown, you feel me, and uh, when I pass through a block and I look at the street sign and it, and it says Amsterdam or some shit like that, or Broadway, I remember them songs, you know what I mean, and I get real vintage with it, and I be wanting to share it, I have to share it with somebody. You feel me but um yeah that's the truth of the matter in terms of the dip sets and influence on new york city um as wu-tang is on a you know a whole nother level as far as worldly appeal and shit but in new york city when they get to talking about hip-hop music forever when they start talking about people, they name coming out. They name coming. Straight up. They name is coming. I'm on a huh, Harlem Collective. I'm on the block of one three the beat 139. Look at the basketball court right there. And I'm just strolling and shit. Niggas be talking about uh you know, where you be, you know, blase block. Man, I'm black, man. I go where the fuck I want to go. Word up. This Harlem. Dig? So, um, subscribe to the channel and shit. Y'all know how I give it up. 152nd. The beat 139 up through here. Come on, man, on the bike. Oh, this flavor. There's still flavor out here. 